that baby season. Uh oh, wait, you gotta undo the belt. That part. This is an amazing cover. It's super heavy duty. Just your basic tank hooker upper situation there. Feels right. Yep. Hair shove it back. Okay, right about there. Make sure it's tight. Turn the fuel. Okay. Open up your grill, get all your stuff off it so you don't burn it. And here's my accessories that I Went ahead and package into my They say if you set cart. anything on these when you're seasoning <coughs> or cooking, mm -hmm. don't. My face is if you have plastic bottles or cups, mm -hmm. they will melt on these. Okay. You want to put your. All right, there it is. Never been used. Here's your... Let's see, that needs to go on the back. The tank's hooked up. Yeah, Careful. But it rolls easy, so... I know, but I don't want you to kick the hose. I get it. This has a little lip thing here that just hooks right in. Up higher. There. Is that where it goes? That's where it goes. Doesn't go in the coal? It is. This one. It drips down into it. Okay. Okay, take a move. Whoops. Okay. I heard it fire. Wow, we have flames already. And so now we just do that. Uh oh, oops. There it goes. Now we have flameage. There you go. Can't really see it. All right. So now, if I remember correctly, we just let it smoke off the, initially, right? And then we add. Watch the video. The. That's what I remember. Well, watch Get the it video. hot until it smokes, and then you start putting the oils on it. So it burns off the factory stuff. It's hot. <laughs> I can feel it from here. Keep your heat in. Be right back. Flameage. Okay, so from what I remember, I'm gonna have to watch it. I'm gonna have to watch a YouTube video here real quick. Um, to remind myself, but um, I believe, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to read up on uh, again on how to season this baby. And this for deliciousness. So, this video, I'm gonna teach you all the steps to follow to make sure your grill top is seasoned perfectly. They say, let it get a little discolored. Do this first step for about 15 minutes. And it will, uh, I don't know if you can, 
catch it on the video or not here, but it is still smoking a bit. And uh, that's just burning off all of the factory oils and whatnot that, that they use to manufacture it. And it is the first step to getting this baby ready to cook on. Super excited. Can't wait. I think I have about, let's see, another 10 minutes or so. So this will be about 15 minutes on this first initial heating, so. I think we've hit our 15 minute mark. And so now it says to grab some of the um, oils, the seasoning oil. I went ahead and bought it. There's all different kinds of information on what to do, but I did hear a really good thing just now about not using like bacon grease to season your grill because of the uh, sodium, the salt, and the nitrates that are in it generally. And that will uh, cause all kinds of problems and pitting and everything else in your griddle. So that's a good, that's a good tip, okay? So um, what it says to do here, hang on, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna film this here. I got dogs barking, hang on. Okay, so, it's been, whoops, it's been about 15 minutes or so, and uh, it says to put a couple of tablespoons of, of this on there. Don't want too much. Cover all the surfaces. Ooh, two things. I don't know about this paper towel thing here. That's what they used in the video though. lint all over. I should have grabbed like a regular cotton towel out of the house, washcloth or something. Yeah, that didn't work so good with the thick towel. Says to do the outside. Ouch! It's hot. Well, that wasn't so smart, was it? <laughs> hmm. I don't have a bucket of water here handy. Oh wait, there's something over here. That was interesting. Note to self. Huh, that was funny. And here we are around three, right? I believe we went and found uh, an old t-shirt 100% cotton t-shirt to my use. in and out shirts getting burned on a grill what a way to go but it's better than catching things on fire <clears throat> I don't know who would do that <clears throat> I didn't catch anything on fire this time right I didn't catch anything on fire last time Okay, now we let this smoke off and we'll do it another couple of times, I think. It's, but it's getting there. 
Keep seasoning up. Then we'll cook some dinner. Ooh, but we have these, which I haven't washed them yet. I should probably take them in the house and wash them, huh? I don't know. Do you think fire cleanses things, or do you think you need to wash it with water? Do you think fire cleanses things, or do you think you need to use water? Well, I think that I need to wash it. I don't know, because if you light this thing up, it's going to burn any germs off. That Even if you have bird poop, it would cook it and would be inert. Would be disgusting. Inert. I know, if you eat it, but I won't eat it. You can eat it, I won't eat it. No, I won't. I don't eat bird I'm poop. I eat birds. I eat birds. Turkeys, try chicken, and, Try quail, not to eat the poop part, duck. though. Quackers. Well, here we are. It's getting there. Every so often I eat quackers. You know? They come okay. I think that we're pretty good. We've uh, seasoned it several times. And so I'm just going to go ahead and, and throw on this. This will be the first thing on my new grill. Got to cut it open. Mmm, smell really good. Meanwhile, um, well, back at the grill, I put on these turkey sausage things, and then I'm going to take some of this 82. <laughs> And that is going to become some smash burgers and some taco meat because I got little shells to make street tacos too. I usually use a better meat, but what the heck? Having fun. So while they've got the machines turned off, here's some of the first meal on our new griddle, Blackstone griddle. Some uh, little street tacos. I just cooked up some plain old burger for it this time because that's all I could grab real quick. And down here in the warming drawer, I've got some smash burger patties and some of that uh, Italian turkey sausage. And so we're just gonna kind of have a strange little feast of things and. Our sweet friend brought a nice, big, beautiful salad, and so we're just gonna gonna eat al fresco tonight. Let's table set it. Mm.